何お前はもう死んでいる。Dark Finn, ladies and gentlemen, one of my all time favorite units in GS is finally here. And with that being said, you guys know what time it is. You got. Unit showcase, baby. So Dark Finn, his first ability is critical when blind, 100% crit rate when the enemy is blinded. His next is tactics. All allies are gauge 50 up when quest starts. His skill is 2,200% dark damage magic, reduces enemy's dark resist by 10% for 5 seconds, 10 second cooldown, 800 break. His normal art is 13,000% dark damage magic, combines accuracy rate buffs, multiplies it by 100, and adds the total to art damage, 1,700 break. His true art is 31,000% dark damage magic, high chance of blinding enemy increase dark units art gauge by 20 increase all allies art gauge by three and accuracy rate by 30 percent for 20 seconds so in total if you are a dark unit from one use of his true art you will get a total of 80 art gauge and if you are not someone that is a dark unit in total you're gonna get 60 art gauge over time which is Ooh. His slots are as follows, 5 star magic, 5 star support, and 4 star magic. We do have his true weapon as well, so why not talk about it? His true weapon is increased damage to enemies by 30% for 10 seconds. Baby is nice. Not only this, we have his abilities, which is giant boss killer level 2. 20% more damage to giant bosses. And we have spy of darkness. This will increase dark fins crit damage by 50%. So any critical damage that he deals will be increased by 50%. Ooh. Now, one thing that I do want to say right before we get into showing off this guy, this guy does not stack with him. Do not use Dark Finn and Normal Finn, or I guess Earth Finn, alongside each other. The reason why is it's weird game mechanics. Certain art genners do not stack with other art genners. There are exceptions to this, but we won't really go into detail with that. But Dark Finn will not stack no matter what with Earth Finn. So we're going to try this. This is Palamecia versus Dark Finn and I don't think this is gonna go too well I'm gonna be honest with you I don't think it will at all because dark Finn is a human and Palamecia does more damage to humans and gods right I think it is so yeah it, I don't think it's gonna go too well um it's probably won't hurt Wurgle because I think Wurgle counts as a dragon I think right maybe he does I, I have to check his card again I think he counts as a dragon uh, I don't think he counts as like a god or a human so we'll have to see what happens with this and uh yeah you'll see right here I think I think it pops up humans and gods is what she's yeah human and god killer which if you don't know dark finn and malia are both humans so it's not that great i'm gonna be honest with you man <laughs> she does some damage to us not only that she also negates criticals so a part of dark finn's kit will kind of be like negated in this i wouldn't want to say negated but it's still gonna have use but just not as much because you know she's negating that she's he'll still do some decent damage and stuff but nowhere near as good as he would um, overall though we are blinding pretty consistently uh, another thing is too dark fin can blind which is really nice of course it's tied to his true art and not his normal art like it is for water I said water Malia god damn it uh, dark Malia and we're cool I almost said dark uh, so let's see right here so we're gonna get this it's gonna be 20 art gauge we have to get one more blind hopefully or just don't don't die okay yeah you see this is very annoying and I don't like doing this this is why I don't do other events videos in general because I hate dealing with RNG and this specific thing I have to deal with so much RNG I have to deal with art gen being up I have to deal with blinds proccing. I have to deal with random damage spikes because I feel like that's a thing. Maybe it's not a thing, but to me, it feels like a thing, okay? And that's why you never see me like ever change up because I, I kind of not dealing with random RNG bullshit. <laughs> I don't consider a fight hard if it's based off of RNG. So yeah, like whenever you need something RNG done like blind, of course, this would go a lot smoother if we had someone like uh, Ash. Ash would be perfect for this because Ash could lower blind resist and just overall, he would be a lot better than probably war ghoul i want to say i wouldn't replace malia because malia and time stop is just op i'm telling you bro time stop is the most op thing to ever come to gs and you see right here this is what i'm talking about we haven't got a single blind yet so you see exactly what i mean whenever i say that uh you know all these random type of things you see we got the we got one blind finally with war ghoul uh, we make it a blind here with malia we'll just see okay yeah we did so boom so right here you know we're perfectly safe at least until one of the blinds once one of the blinds go away we're no longer safe <laughs> because she can still hit us uh if she has two blinds on her then she misses everything so yeah you you can see man it's it's definitely nerve-wracking because malia and dark finn can die at any moment just because you know she says so which is 
you know, not not something I agree with at all. You know, I don't I don't like that, <laughs> but it is what it is. It we're perfectly fine. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna get this off. We're gonna get this off. I don't think we're gonna be able to get Wurgle's normal art off in time. Maybe we will be able to. Uh, it's possible, but I don't think so. I said normal art, true art, but yeah, I don't think this is gonna be enough. Yeah, it's not. I'm gonna time stop her just because I don't want her to freaking kill us while you know we're all doing our shenanigans and stuff um we have a blind on her again time stop like i said op op please don't kill with that slash okay thank god she didn't okay and we you see right here you know we're doing pretty well it's pretty well overall we're doing good i i really wish that she would just die already because i'm getting kind of nervous because you know we, we are dealing with a lot of stuff here malia time stop please oh my god she was going in for a strike and we got the kill my god dude i hate this event so much because there's so much RNG that I have to deal with. Goodness. But Dark Fan performed all right. He's pretty good. Uh, also, another thing that I want to point out too before we end off this video is that Dark Finn is different than other supports. Dark Finn needs a different crest depending on what you are planning on doing with them. If you're planning on using them for general usage like I am, then Equipment CT will be his best crest. But if you are using him for specifically nuking, then Attack Up will be your best because that will give you the extra damage you need during nuking. Me personally, I think undeniably his best crest will be Equipment CT Up so you can get your support items up faster, his true weapon up faster if you're using with your shoe weapon and stuff i do want to point out too a lot of people are asking me op do you think his shoe weapon is required no i don't think so i just think that if you like dark finn a lot just why not why not make him as strong as he can be and buy a shoe weapon? it's not required at all however if you ever do get enough rainbow gems to buy it i don't think it's a bad buy but make sure you get all of your necessary ones out of the way first but guys it's gonna be it for the video man thank you all for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed this showcase we'll have dark finn versus the world and all that coming out soon but guys thank you all for coming out man speedy bro p and i'm out guys Peace.